we all know that the shadows are able to observe as light travels along the path of straight line but how can we able to see objects objects which are reflected in the light they only appear to us to understand it clearly observe this conversation hi harsha what are you searching for i am searching for my car but it does not appear ho oh, don't worry i have a light oh then turn on the light i can't see my car ho oh, okay now search your car yeah i got it in this situation how is the toy car visible to him did the light fall on the toy car or fall on his eye yes when the light fall on the toy car then only it is visible to him it can be seen because of the reflection of the light on the objects so today we are going to learn about reflection of light what is light light is a part of electromagnetic spectrum which is considered as visible to human eye what is reflection of light reflection is the change in direction of a wave front at an interface between two different media so that the wave front returns into the medium from which it originated let us understand this definition two different media let us take medium 1 and medium 2 and this is the interface between two media now reflection of the light is change the direction at interface and return to the same medium which objects reflect light already we know that opaque objects are well reflected than transparent and partially transparent objects are all objects reflected the same no this reflection is depend on the surface of the opaque objects how is light reflected according to the surface of reflection reflection from a rough surface is irregular so it is called irregular reflection reflection from a smooth surface is regular so it is called regular reflection if the surface of the object is very smooth or polished then that regular reflection from it is called ideal reflection reflection from the mirror is the best example for ideal reflection let the surface of the mirror is interface between two media let us take this ray is incident on the surface of the mirror at a particular point and now this is the reflected ray from that point let us imagine a normal to the surface area at the particular incident point this is the angle from the normal to the incident ray is called angle of incidence and this is the angle from the normal to the reflected ray is called angle of reflection and now what are the laws of reflection of light first one angle of reflection is equal to angle of incidence that means angle i is equal to angle r and the second one incident ray reflected ray and normal are lie in the same plane we know that the fundamental property of light is it travels in a straight line 
but why should be the angle of reflection is equal to the angle of incidence because when light gets reflected from a surface it selects the path that takes the least time it is the another property of light that is light takes the least time to travel this property was first given by pierre de fermat a french lawyer and an amateur mathematician So far we have learned about reflection of light. Reflection is nothing but the light ray coming back into the same medium without going into the other medium. Then if the light ray goes from one medium to another medium what is it? That is refraction of light. Click this video to learn about completely about refraction of light.